testing. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to do number four on the elementary math MTEL. Number four is a classic number sense and operation word problem. All right, let's so take if you're a closer a teacher, look. You're probably watching this video, and you're looking at this video preparing for some exam, maybe your math MTEL or some sort of teacher certification exam in your state. This problem is very, very generic. It's a classic number sense and operations word problem. So we're going to read it over, visualize what's going on, and then sort of identify the number sense and operation core ideas in here before we solve it. Let's start. Number four. A photographer sells postcards at a craft fair. The photographer calculates a cost of 12 postcards. The price of each of the postcards is the same and there is no sales tax. The photographer calculates that the total cost of the postcards as $29.58 but realizes that this total is incorrect because if a number is divisible by 12 then and then we have all these possibilities based on you know what must be true if a number is divisible by 12. Now I'm looking this over and there's a bunch of comprehension strategies that we could do the one that I like the best is for you to visualize what's happening in the picture. So I just want you to have a mental image. Where there's this photographer. He's selling postcards. In fact, I used to do this with teacher, a title anchor. This is the keyword that appears a lot as far as a reading comprehension strategy. Sure, photograph, photographer does appear a lot. But even more than photographer is postcards. Postcard, 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 postcard. So that means for me to focus on the postcards here. What's specifically about the postcards? Well, the postcards, uh, you know, the sum of all these 12 postcards, it's divisible by uh, 12. Whatever the sum is, it's divisible by 12 because of certain rules. Now, divisible is another idea that I like teachers to focus on. When you read over these problems, you look for, you know, core math ideas. Indivisible, divisible, 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 divisible. This is an indication that the core idea behind this math problem is divisible and the divisibility rules. So not only when you read these problems, you want to get a mental picture of what's going on and what to focus on, but you also want to right away target the core idea, which is the divisibility rules. Once, once you do those two things, then you confuse your understanding of the dynamics of the problem, like the, the core, core dynamics the, of what's going on in the problem, and the core concepts, and then you can solve it. Let's talk about the divisibility rules real quick. If a number is divisible by 12, a couple things have to be true. If it's divisible by 12, what are the factors of 12? Well, 1 and 12... 2 and 6, 3 and 4. So if it's divisible by 12, then it makes sense that it has whatever number it is also has to be divisible by 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Why? Because what we're saying is this number is divisible by this number, and if a factor, if the factors of a, a number like 12 are all divis go into 12 evenly, then therefore these also must be uh, uh, these also must divide into that large number that we're looking at here. Well, these rules aren't that hard for 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. 1 is pretty easy. It, any number is divisible by 1 when there's no remainder. So if it's a whole number like 12, 15, 100, it's automatically going to be divisible by 1 with no remainder. 2, 2 is not that bad. 2 just says it has to be an even number. Now what are the divisibility rules for 3? This one is slightly less known, but let's take our, our 144, for example. Is 144 divisible by 3? Let's say you uh, weren't so sure. Well, what are the divisibility rules for 3? Well, if you add up the digits, this is how it works with 3. When you add up the digits, the sum, this would be 1, 4, and 4, plus 4, that's uh, 9. The sum of those digits is a number that when you divide it by 3, it goes in evenly. In this case here, 9 divided by 3 is 3. So we could say the sum of the three digits, when you divide it by 3, is equal to, I mean, when you divide it by 3, it gets you, it's divisible with no remainder. 
This works with all numbers. You can always test out three. Add the digits together. If the sum is divisible by three, it is a number that you can divide by three. Four is a lot like two, except it goes a little further. Four says this, as long as the last two digits are divisible by three. So this means if you, uh, if you just look at any number and look at the last two digits, these last two have to be divisible by four, and therefore it's a, we could say that it's uh, divisible by four. So whatever number is divisible by 12, it also has to be divisible by three and four. So let's read this first one. The sum of the digits must be divisible by both three and four, and the last digit must be a factor of six. Is that true? Well, it definitely has to be divisible by 3 and 4. But does the last digit have to be a factor of 6? That would be look, like looking at 144 and saying, is the last digit divisible by 6? Well, um, but no, no, not at all. So it's not a requirement that the last digit is divisible by 6 because 144 as we know, is, is actually equal to uh, 12 times 12. 12 goes into it 12 times. So 12 is 144 is divisible by 12, and 6, the last digit, you know, doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, a factor of 6. We could cross that one off. The last two digits must be divisible by 12. Well, the last two digits have to be divisible by 4, and the, and the sum of the digits has to be divisible by 3. So this one, you could cross off. It's only half of the requirement. The sum of the digits must be divisible by 3, and the last two digits must be divisible by 4. This is true, and this is your answer. And last, the last two digits must be divisible by 6. Well, again, if I had a number like 144, and we look at the last two digits, 144, the last two digits are not divisible by 6, yet... 144 is divisible by 3 because 1 plus 4 plus 4 is 9 and 9 divided by 3 is 3 and that's the whole rule with the divisibility rules for 3 and the last two digits like 4 and 4, 44, you know is divisible by 4. So basically that one's wrong too. Alright team, I hope you found this video helpful. Check out um, the website for more Intel Math videos. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Hi team, I wanted to uh, encourage everyone if you have time to check out one of the MTEL Math workshops. This is a great time to make new connections in the math. It's two days, one or two day workshop. Uh, you can go to GoMath and find out more information. Take care. Bye bye.